what about, you know, I know Alexia is going through a lot now. And like we saw, you know, this whole thing with her son, like, have you talked to Alexia since this whole thing came out with her son and being charged? Yeah, I reached out, I reached out to her. Um, I sent her a text basically saying like, you know, I love you. I'm so proud of you for navigating through like, you know, all this stuff. And it's not easy when you have kids that have gone through so much, you know? Um, so I definitely reached out to her. Did you hear her back? Like, is she okay? Yeah, no, she, she literally was like, I love you. Thank you, my friend for reaching out. Um, you know, everyone's doing their best. I feel like that's all you can do in a situation like that. You know, it's not her fault. It's just, you know, just bad luck, I guess. Absolutely. What about, did you go to her wedding? Like, did you guys all go to her wedding? Um, you'll have to see the show and, you know, see what happens at the wedding. It was amazing. Was it? I'm joking. You'll have to see. Okay. Have to wait and see. What about, you know, listen, I mean, we have our first cast out lesbian housewife and the history of housewives, Julia. Mm -hmm. I mean, how nice is it? And Bravo does such a great job in Peacock, you know, with like diversity and inclusion. Like how great is it to be a part of the cast that, you know, it really is a historic moment. Like as a member of the gay community myself, I mean, it's kind of a big deal. No, it's, you know, I feel like this cast is so diverse and it's like very open, you know? I feel like no one really judges you for things that other cities I'm sure judge you for. You know, it's great to be in a place where, you know, your love for who you are. And there, there's not a better feeling than that. And it's great. I mean, the girls are all so different, you know, and Julia brings such a different um, aspect to the show. Like shooting with her every day was like, I, I swear, we had so many conversations about all the women who were going to be lesbians by the end of the show. I was like, I, I promise all the women are going to be lesbians by the time the show is done. Because they all fell in love with her and her personality. So I was like, you know, it's just an open, you know, friendly cast and you know, it's, it's just Miami. I think it's just very open-minded. I mean, and I have to say like, you know, when I heard she was part of the cast, I figured, you know, we would get maybe one visit by Martina, maybe two, but like Martina is part of this show. Like, wow. Like, what is it like filming with Martina Navratilova? I mean, she's a freaking icon. Oh no, it was so much fun. Everyone loves her. I feel like you know, she's just so welcoming and nice that I literally was like, Hey, can we play tennis sometime? Like, it was the funniest thing. Like she made me feel so comfortable. And then at, when I left and I, and I was driving home and I was telling a girlfriend of mine, she's like, you really said that to her. And I was like, yeah, she's so nice. I and mean, she was like, she's not playing tennis with you. And I was like, you never know. You never know. Listen, are you a good tennis player? I mean, I like tennis. I'm not like I'm not Agassi or anything. I'm not like the best. I'm not like Serena, but you know, I'm good. You're better than I am. I, that I can guarantee you. I mean, you just got to practice. It's like anything else, you know? You guys have like the warm weather in Miami. You're outside. I'm freezing over here in New York City. So, you know, there you go. Well, we saw that you recently sold your house. How nice is it just to be, you know, have your house sold and move on to like a different chapter of your life? I mean, I was, I, you know, it's bittersweet. Like, I love that house. We built that house. We have so many amazing memories in that house. But it was time to sell it and move on. And I'm super excited. I'm actually going back to Miami tomorrow to go house shopping and see what's on the market right now. What's your style of a house? Like if you had a, you know, like we see like Alexia's like gorgeous condo, like what, what's mm -hmm. your style of real estate? I don't know. I feel like I want something that's like modern and not so big. I feel like I've always had really big houses. Like my house in LA is a pretty big house that I'm in right now. I kind of want to be, almost like turnkey in Miami, you know, just, I want to spend more time on the beach and less worrying about all the problems in my house. People always think bigger is better. And I, I agree. Like sometimes you have too much house, right. Which we saw on the yeah. show recently, you looked at that house in Boca and it was just, it's gorgeous, but too big. Yeah. I feel like I, I want to like downsize a bit, not like, you know. And you want something modern. Mm -hmm. I love modern. We love modern. Well, you know, your divorce from Scotty is final. And, you know, mm -hmm. I feel like from where I'm sitting, you know, there's always been so much talk of like, you know, Larsa is like Scotty's ex and, you know, your so-and-so's ex BFF. Like to me, it seems like 2020 is the year of Larsa, right? Like you're on the show, like you're really, you have your jewelry. Like it seems this is kind of the year where people are going to be saying Larsa is Larsa. Am I wrong? Am I overstating that? No, I feel like I've always been Larsa. You know, I just feel like I, I've, 
I'm surrounded by other people that get shine too, you know? So it's kind of like you get lost because you're like in the middle and I never like to be in the forefront normally. Um, but yeah, I feel like this, this is definitely going to be my year. I feel like I have so many amazing things happening for me. You know, the show was amazing for me. I had a great experience. I loved being a part of the cast. I feel like the girls were amazing. My kids are older, they're rock stars. So I feel like I'm definitely winning right now. So I don't know what's it's gonna happen later on in life but right now I'm winning so I'm just gonna enjoy this moment and you know thrive in it I mean speaking of your kids look you love your kids no matter what right but how happy is Scotty that two of his sons are following in the family business and pursuing basketball I mean Scotty is super excited about that he was just at little Scotty's game yesterday he you know he's very supportive of the kids he loves all of them and the fact that a couple of them love basketball, he loves that. He's Not lucky. That he had, he's lucky. Yeah, he's lucky he had a few boys. Seriously. Well, you know, your divorce really was so non dramatic, and you are co parenting like so well. Like, what, which I think is really hard anyway, but I think it's even harder like when you're in the public eye. Like, what advice would you have for people? you know, look, there's a lot of messy divorces, right? In the public eye and in Hollywood. So you guys seem to be doing it so well. Like what advice would you have for people? Um, I feel like just focus on the kids, you know? I just, I feel like when you, like when couples hurt each other, the only thing it really does long-term is affect the kids. And, you know, I would never do that to my kids. I love them so much. Scotty loves them so much. Um, and, you know, we, like, we didn't have one problem that, you know, it wasn't one big problem that broke us up. It was like small little problems that, you know, we just didn't, we couldn't get over the hump, but we still love each other. You know, we love our kids. So, you know, I just feel like just maybe look at the big picture rather than like the small things that really could annoy us. There's so many things that I could have like lost my mind over. And I just chose not to like focus on the small things rather than, you know, I'd rather focus on like the big picture and the big picture is like, I'm happy. I'm happy. He's happy. My kids are great. So for me, that's all like, you know, I could ever wish for. That's such a good attitude. Speaking of your children, we just saw this scene where you went shopping with Sophia. And mm -hmm. am I the only one that remembers another show that Sophia had a starring role on? I mean, Dancing with the Stars Juniors. I mean, Sophia killing it. <laughs> Was that like as a mother, like were you just, I mean, how stressful was that? Was that a stressful experience just watching? I mean, Dancing with the Stars is no joke. Oh, I'm such a competitive person. And like watching Sophia, like I feel like I was miked during um, the elimination of Sophia. And I feel like when I went in to talk to her, I didn't know what to do to make her feel good. And I was like, they're hating on you. You were the best. You were the cutest. They were hating on you. And I was like, oh, when I took the mic off, I was like, oh my God. Oh, she had a mic on actually. And I was like, oh my God, they probably think I'm a crazy mom. But I was like, you're so much better than half these snotty nosed kids, you know? But so yeah, it, it was a great experience. I definitely was very nervous for her, but you know, she was one of the youngest ones. She was nine at the time. Wow. And she was dancing like 10 hours a day, seven days a week. It was insane. 